showing you all the steps that go into a little stutter there. They gone. They gone. They ain't happening. Arr, 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 arr. Tim to Tim the tool man Taylor kind of tinkering and <laughs> Hey, 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 Blackberry Ridgians. Hey, 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 we are back again, back again. What is that, like Backstreet Boys back again, something like that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to give you an update as to what we've been up to today. I think I've shot a couple of these videos, I just haven't edited them. So I might throw in some pieces of what we've been up to. And while I'm telling the story, we're going to walk around, look at the garden, kind of give you a garden update and show you what's going on with that. I also need to do a final garden video and I'll probably do that in a couple of weeks to come. That also includes our irrigation setup. So, without further ado, to the garden. Okay, we're out here in the garden now, and uh, before I turn it around, I just want to kind of give you an idea of what we've been up to. Um, work has been nuts. Work has been crazy. The last video I posted was probably a couple of weeks ago of the Barn Dominium. I've got some more video I need to show you of that. We've started drywall there, so I need to get there and get a video to show you kind of what all's happened between the last video you've seen and drywall. Um, and then some personal stuff happened. Work has just been crazy busy. And whenever I go, uh, whenever I mention the per personal stuff, uh, nothing bad. Well, I say nothing bad. No, everybody's okay. Nobody's injured. Everything's fine. Just some uh, stuff that nobody wants to deal with. Stuff that I've never actually personally dealt with in uh, how many years I've been in business. And I say business because it all kind of ties to that. So. Uh, let's show you real quick some of the garden and then we'll get into kind of like personally what's what's been the issue and why we have been a little absent here late on YouTube. All right, so we're going to go front to back. We're up here at the front. Uh, keep in mind, we've all been busy. So we have this beautiful, awesome raised bed, raised bed garden and we've kind of maintained the grass in it about as good as keeping it Dutch does. Uh, it looks pretty bad, pretty desolate, uh, but everybody gets busy, right? I guess that's probably Dutch's excuse too. Uh, hopefully we're gonna figure out a way to maintain the outside of the beds a whole lot better uh, in coming years. But right now it kind of looks pretty bad. So we'll see where we go uh, with doing that, but let's turn the camera around and show you our corn stalk. Um, all of our corn has some of its laying over, uh, but there are ears on there that look like they're about ready to pick. Uh, my parents were out here earlier while I was building cabinets and they were talking about it. I don't know if they ended up grabbing any or not, but it's pretty close if it's not quite ready. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll have roasted corn tonight, I don't know, but let's go. These are grapes that are really, really working up the trellis my mom built. Uh, I'll go into that trellis more uh whenever we do an overall garden kind of final video but the grapes are doing good uh, over here uh this was pretty much an epic fail in there somewhere is some bare root uh blackberry bushes um somewhere holier than thou gardening didn't really produce right there but I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we are going to have a ton of next year. And that's some dad burn strawberries. Look at that. Uh, we've got these four raised beds here of strawberries. And uh, really looking forward to that. That right there is the exact reason why I wanted to use cedar. Um, some of the beds, which we'll go over in full uh, review of kind of our garden in our final video um did exactly what i thought they would do and uh pretty bad in some places so uh but strawberries look awesome and then we have our trees these are bare root trees these have done really well too i believe these are the apple trees yeah these apple trees started out you know like about like this they've almost doubled in size 
and uh, they're really taking off too so we're excited for those so then this one believe it or not there are trees in here somewhere this bed was filled with i believe maybe some squash with it that we've already taken out uh but the trees in here they're here they are let me get that tag i think these might be the peaches yeah these are the peach trees in this bed so they're doing good they're thriving as well um and uh, hopefully next year well i think it's what three years before we get some fruit off of those but they're doing pretty good so that's kind of like the front half of the garden those are more grapes over there on that trellis that my mom made so we'll uh the grapes are doing good corn's good pumpkins we didn't talk about pumpkins let's go hit the pumpkins real quick and then i'll tell you what happened personally or kind of give you a brief overview i'm not going to go into too much detail because you're probably list tired of listening to me talk so pumpkins are going you saw the girls plant these pumpkins um they've already picked some of them but uh the others don't look like they're doing too great we got a couple of, of fruits coming off of them a couple of blooms over here maybe they'll there's some blooms over on that one and that one maybe they'll have uh some pumpkins to pick and carve for halloween this year so be pretty cool that they grew their own all right personal life stuff um we sold our house in late June, or so we thought. Um, we moved out Tuesday before we're supposed to close on a Friday. We moved out of our house. I had all my work done to it, pay the expenses of the move, uh, went above and beyond, deep cleaned the inside of the house for the buyers, touch up painted the inside of the house for the buyers, steam cleaned the carpets, restretch the carpets you know i build custom homes for a living so it was important to me that whoever's going to live in the house that i actually lived in it was um it was nice it's when they moved in and we handed over a good product so we did all that i've spent thousands of dollars in that the day before we're supposed to close we find out that somebody needs an extension we sign an extension we go on vacation to florida which I'm gonna throw some uh, throw some of that footage in right now. Some fishing footage, some footage from Pippa's GoPro. Pippa, I gave Pippa one of my GoPros and she wanted to uh, vlog the trip for her YouTube channel that she doesn't have, but it was just cute to watch her mess around with a camera. So um, we go to Florida. We ended up finding out while we're in Florida that the deal's falling apart and there's nothing we can do about it. And we get to come back home to a deal that has fallen apart moving we've we've already moved in living in my sister's second story and uh until we get our investment property done that we have now purchased only because we thought we were selling our house uh to, we just came back to a giant mess and it has been a giant mess for the last three weeks four weeks um, when I posted the last video of the barn dominium, we were living, uh, in my sister's upstairs, um, while that was going on. And this is actually kind of maybe the first video, maybe the second video I've shot since then. I don't even know what I've got. It's honestly been such a whirlwind. So I guess this story has a happy ending because we did resell our house. It did go back on the market. We did get it resold. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that's gone on other than that too, but I'm going to make a whole other video on homeowners associations and how actually horrible they are and how they do so much more harm than good. Uh, we're going to go into that in another video and, uh, and some other things, but just wanted to let you know what was going on personally. It does have a happy ending onward and upward. Hopefully you're going to get some, a lot more Blackberry Ridge video stuff going on. Um, I'm in there making a video today over making your own cabinets. Um, just kind of doing, showing you all the steps that go into a little stutter there that go into, uh, into making cabinets. So that's my personal stuff. Tried to make it as short and sweet as I could. Let's, uh, let's get back to, uh, more garden stuff. So let me turn the camera around. <laughs> Okay, let's start back over here by the peach trees. In these raised beds, we've got squash. And this squash is with, 
you can see some of that right there. I'm going to roll in some footage if I haven't already. These are some apricot trees. I don't think all of these are apricots, though. Um, that one is, too. Um, I'm going to roll in some footage of some of the recent harvests we've had out here. I think I did some pictures or maybe some videos of, of everything that we've picked to date. and Not everything. I mean, we have had... I will say the holier than thou gardening has taken absolutely off this year on several vegetables, sorry, and fruits. Um, it just, what really has failed us is the bare root stuff, but uh, it was under warranty. So we get to uh, get that stuff replaced and uh, we did plant it kind of late. Let's see here. What is this one? Sorry. Plum trees, apricots and plums in that one. They're not doing good, so they're going to have to get warrantied and go from there. We've got some more squash and uh, cucumbers are in here somewhere, uh, zucchinis in here, and pretty much those back beds and these beds here was all squash, zucchini, and cucumber, um, as well as what's with a bunch of all of our bare root stuff. That's a nectarine tree. This bare root and that bare root really did not do good um and then this back here is figs and they're doing awesome um there's some squash right there ready to be picked probably uh then the figs are here some more squash we got some butternut squash up there some spaghetti squash up there uh we need to get to picking that um that looks like it's about ready to go and that spaghetti squash is good stuff over it with some marinara sauce on it so Right here we have some bare root blueberry. Don't really know what to think of these. They're not looking all that great. Um, in the middle here we have the sunflowers we got for Mom's Mother's Day video. I'm sure you guys remember that or saw that. Um, they are just really taken off. We planted these from seeds. Uh, these things have like tripled in size in the last three weeks alone. So. Uh, this is a really cool deal. Windmill broke. <laughs> Oklahoma winds. That windmill wasn't really rated for it, so we're going to have to do a little ar, 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 Tim, tool, Tim the Toolman Taylor kind of tinkering and playing with it to make that work. So uh, we will get that windmill back to going, but that bed is all sunflower and doing really, really good. So that's pretty much the whole east side of the garden you've seen now. And like I said, uh, we got a little Dutch thing going on here but uh, none of us have had time for it this summer. Um, we do have these rows big enough. As soon as I get my zero turn mower in here, we could just maintain this like a yard in all reality. Um, eventually, I think the goal is for wood chips, but uh, we don't have the wood chipper yet. And to go buy wood chips for this whole garden would be just crazy. So uh, even with wood chips, you're gonna always fight the vegetation trying to grow through it. So maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe we just kind of maintain it like a garden in here or like a yard and uh, take the zero turn in here and just kind of mow it real quick. And then the worst part would be weed eating around these beds. We'll save that for another video, even though I just explained everything. So let's uh, go into next. Let's go into the uh, west side of the garden and show you what we got going on over there. So before we go into the west side of the garden, I also just wanted to give you another reason uh, for our absence. I'm really, I was really kind of getting burnt out with YouTube. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a whole other video over this. I've got some other um, YouTube homestead people, especially my size of channel and, and under that feel a lot of the way that I feel um, about YouTube. Uh, so I may make a whole other video about it. People have asked me to do it in my absence when they, when they ask where I've been, uh, I just kind of tell them I'm busy. And if it's another YouTuber, they might, uh, might confide some of their stress or anger with YouTube here lately. And, uh, to be honest, that's probably one of my biggest reasons as well. I, uh, I worked my butt off for the first part of this year, um, on doing three to four videos a week. Uh, I feel like I deliver decent content. I feel like I edit my content well. I don't just speak into a camera and don't really care at the end of the day and post something. And, uh, you know, during that time I'm getting like, I have 7,500 viewers or 7,500 subs and I get like, I don't know, 200, 300 views per video. And it was just getting 
it, I mean, this is not my full-time job. I don't really aspire for this to be my full-time job. It's a hobby. It's a second source of income. Um, it's a source of income that I was hoping would provide for my wife to leave her job and us not have to give up much. Um, it's honestly pretty fun. Uh, we started the channel as as a documentation thing, but then you start, you get caught up in the business of it, and then you get caught up in all this little freaking YouTube drama crap from channel to channel, and uh, and big channel, little channel, big channel too big for your britches, just all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's crazy. I think I need to make a whole other video about it. I'm gonna get a lot of hate from it. Uh, but I'm also probably going to get a lot of the claps as well. So we'll save it for then. Let's just say I was doing three to four videos a week and that was just exhausting, uh, tiring. And I probably got a little bit burnout. So between the personal stuff, work, just being absolutely on fire and the, and the, uh, and just being burnout from YouTube, um, it was just too much. So one thing had to go. And unfortunately, for a couple, for about a month or two, it was YouTube. But uh, things are kind of leveling off, uh, getting a little bit better. So we should uh, should come back and and keep making some videos for you. I don't know that I'll get back to three or four a week. I think uh, that gets into too much. Uh, but one to two would be good. So here we go. We're gonna stop talking about my woe is me troubles, and we're gonna get back to the garden. So stand by. <laughs> Okay, so now to probably one of the largest producers. We had we had we had several things that did fantastic here, and uh, you know these tomatoes uh, were one of them. We have several different types of tomatoes, and they're just on fire. They're just going nuts. You can still see how many are just bright green. You can see some that are turning. You can see how many we've lost to just spoilage or uh, too much water or bugs or whatever. But we're picking walmart sacks full every week of uh, tomatoes it is fantastic we've now got a salt and pepper shaker up here that my dad brought last time we were all here as a family we're all picking stuff and eating it and we're like man we all love salt and pepper on our tomatoes and we thought well that'd be cool so dad brought some salt and pepper shakers so you can literally just pick something salt and pepper it up and eat it right out here in the garden there's nothing better than that so uh, you can see her mom's magnolia she planted to try to keep bugs away. I don't know what those purple things are. Uh, we've got snap peas going up here. We've got green beans going up here. Um, there's more tomatoes, more tomatoes going nuts. Zucchini that's just kind of rotted on the vine, and I don't know what they're planning on doing that, just kind of composting, I guess. I think this was some broccoli that didn't make because we got it too late. We got some carrots still here. We picked a bunch of carrots already. This is just what's left. Those are probably ready to pick. Um, we got some radish. Uh, that's probably ready to go. If not spoiled, it's probably spoiled. Okra. I think we're just gonna till all this in and till it under and, and help with our holier than thou soil. So our peppers going absolutely crazy. We can't eat enough peppers, red peppers, green peppers, orange peppers, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers. I mean, I feel like Bubba Gump talking about Bubba Gump shrimp. We've got so many peppers. They're just going nuts. So this is our one of our other big producers is all these peppers. I mean, most of these need to be picked right now. They're so big. I mean, we probably let it know. We probably are letting everything this summer, if I, if I can think right, we're, we're not able to pick it fast enough. It's almost like that. It's almost that crazy. We're not able to pick it fast enough. It's getting too big on the vine. It's losing some taste because it's getting so big on the vine. And then we're just having to find people to give it away to. My parents are giving it away to the neighbors that are live in our neighborhood, just giving sack. So camera died again. Well, not again, died in a video earlier today. You're gonna find that out. Anyways, so uh, we've had so much, so much, so many vegetables, so many. What we've had the best of is tomatoes, peppers of all kinds and zucchini squash and cucumber just like out the wazoo okra has been really good too um you can see it's about done though we still have some up there uh some that's you know just too big or got ate up with bugs that's getting donated back to the soil 
but uh lots of that and then the peas green beans here um sugar snap peas i don't know which is which but those have been really fruitful as well uh, and then my favorites of the whole thing uh, these watermelon really need a couple of really more good rains to really really get up there in size but they look uh, they're coming along phenomenal there's 12 or 15 of them or so and then some cantaloupe some cantaloupe in here we've uh, already picked four or five um, a couple of them weren't very good my parents had one that was real good so hopefully some of these are uh, going to be ready to go and really really good here in the next few days as you can see there's some laying around in there this was all filled with zucchini and squash uh the sticks that you see were the bare root raspberries and it's i think it's probably pretty safe to say they gone they gone they ain't happening uh those were under warranty as well so hopefully we'll be able to replace those at no charge so that's pretty much the garden uh what else do i need to update you on my parents' house is getting ready to kick kick off. I don't know if I've told many of you that. Um, let's go, uh, should I save that for, I'm gonna give you a little teaser. A little teaser, a little teaser. So if you see right through there, you see a bunch of rocks. My dad's been working on the pad site for his house. Um, we've been having to move all the rocks that you've seen in all the videos. And we have a huge, huge, in Donald Trump's mind, huge pile of rocks. Um, so we gotta, we're moving all those. We gotta figure out a solution for those. I gotta figure it out. Please, in the comments below, if you have a solution for all these dadgum boulders, please tell me. Um, I, I'm considering buying a dump trailer and you know doing deliveries and just selling them and getting rid of them hopefully it pays for the cost of the dump trailer and now we have a dump trailer on the farm i don't know what i'm gonna do but i do know that those have got to go so my parents house is starting pretty soon uh we're probably amber and i are still um probably a year or two away from building up here but it's coming um i got to do a video of all this here for you the irrigation system for the garden so let's talk about that for a second upcoming videos i've got uh let's go inside i'm hot it's freaking hot it's so that gum hot okay we're back here in the wood shop uh upcoming videos you this is a just a general update video um let's start with the first ones you'll probably see are the cabinet videos I'm going to do at least one video over that. It might be broken up into two parts. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm done for day two of working on cabinets right now. So, um, so yeah, I'll probably break it up into two parts. It'll probably be like face frames and boxes and then doors and drawers. Probably two part video. Then we got to do a video over the pad that my dad's doing for my parents' house that's coming up. We got to do an update video of the boat where we stand with that and the motor. We got a motor for it, uh, so I got to do a video on the motor as well. We've got to do a video on the garden, an overall finished up garden video. I've got to do a video on the irrigation for the garden. We've got to do an overall video for the barn. I've still never shot like a here's the barn in all its glory video. Um, we've got to do a video on, I'm going to try to carve out some time as soon as it might think about cooling off to do a bunch of firewood cutting. Um, I wanna do some deer food plots coming up. Uh, it's getting around that time here in Oklahoma. I probably won't have time for it again this year, but there's just something about doing all that stuff that uh, I find enjoyable and fun. So probably be working on some food plots. I gotta brush hog the property, show you some videos of that. That'll be real exciting, right? Watching somebody mow, it's about like watching paint dry. I'm sure you'll just love viewing that. Um, what else do I need to update you on? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm sure there's lots of stuff. Uh, but those are just some of the videos that are coming up. And, uh, as you know, we'll have our, probably a weekend vlog and then a video on purpose throughout the week and all that kind of stuff. But 
we're back i hope we're back i hope i'm not just saying that and then come monday i'll get ramrodded again but um but we should be back up and going uh and should be bringing you a lot more content so i've rambled on long enough i don't know how long this video is but i'm sure it's long because my throat hurts from talking so until cabinet videos we'll see you next time up on the ridge wasn't really rated for it so we're gonna have to do a little tim to tim the tool man taylor kind of tinkering and playing with it to make